Matt Jesus on a pilgrimage, still walking. I'm Andy Doyle, the Bishop of Texas, and that's my six-word autobiography. My hope for this podcast is to walk with you and talk with you about God, the church, and where we're headed next. Heavenly Father, I humbly beseech you to see before you a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, and a sinner of your own redeeming. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. People are fascinated, I think, with death and what lies on the other side, but most specifically, we seem to fill our history channel and all kinds of TV channels with the stories of great people who have died, like the pharaohs or King Tut, uh, the death of monarchs just recently, right, the Queen Elizabeth II, and how much time we spent watching all of that. Uh, maybe the hero Joan of Arc. They were apportioned in their time great glory, majesty from the beginning, who ruled their kingdoms and made names for themselves by valor and wise counsel, it says in Sirach today. Yet I reflect, and when done, all their crowns were left behind. And they made their journey with what they entered the world with. Absolutely nothing. Then there are the famous actors. Some who died this year, Angela Lansbury, Anne Hesch, uh, Olivia Newton-John, Ray Liotta, Chris Hurt, or musicians Loretta Lynn, Naomi Judd, Meatloaf, Jerry Lee Lewis. Or maybe it's an author, Hilary Mantle, who wrote Wolf Hall. Anglicans love that one. Jack Higgins, The Eagle Has Landed. Some of you remember that. Madeline Albright, Richard Leakey, the anthropologist, made us rethink our human origins. And David McCullough, the great historian. We sing the praises of those who narrated our lore in musical tune, verses of writing. Endowed with resources, living peacefully and honored in their generations, a pride of their time. Their voices live on in moving pictures and audio files and paper or virtual books. Yet each met the God of the cosmos without their fandoms. Yes, we can sing the praises of the famous. Also, sinners, <laughs> just like you and me. Human icons, though, for us all, that death awaits us, each and every one. These are the saints, you see, of politics, saints of stardom, saints of song, and saints of word. Yet today, let us praise the faithful departed the ones we remember in our families, the ones we remember in our churches, the ones who without us, there will be no earthly memory but great and quiet headstones after long years past. So sing the story of Carvel Glenn. Carvel Glenn, a gay man, an advocate who died this year, a faithful Christian human being known for his laughter and love, for his art, his service at his home church, and upon many a board of the diocese. Sing the story of Wheezy Burton, a strong woman of faith, whose stewardship raised up leaders, organized her small parish church in Marlin, Texas who gave time and treasure to see its long life of ministry continue in her community. Sing the song of Elizabeth Mascolette, who served faithfully as the first woman ordained in the diocese, who went where the bishop sent her, loved those to whom she was sent, and was a good, solid priest faithfully to the very end. I could go on and on, for I see many in every community where I visit. 
There are hundreds, thousands of names that we could name in our diocese and in our churches alone, let alone our families. Those who faithfully made way for us, who showed us how to be faithful, to lead, to serve, and to give. These are the songs that we might sing for the faithful departed. My guess is you have your own list of names. These are godly men, the scripture says. Godly men and women and siblings, right? Whose righteous deeds have not been forgotten and will not be forgotten as long as I live, certainly. The offspring of their ministry will continue forever. The glory of their giving will never be blotted out. Their bodies are buried in peace, but their name and acts live on in us. The point of the gospel message over these past few weeks is quite simple. We're meant as human beings to live, to love, to serve, and to give. Christianity is about the living. Their work for good lasts as gems in the kingdom of heaven, just like every good thing that you do in this life. We saw them comforted by their faith, and we knew them as sons and daughters, as siblings and citizens of God's kingdom. They lived a life of inheritance of the Most High God and revealed the mercy of Christ. Their lives illustrated, you see, the kingdom of God, and it brought comfort to many. It showed a permanent inheritance, a true satisfaction and mercy, a vision of God, a divine fellowship. They lived out the Beatitudes. Maybe not perfectly, of course. Because we understand the lives of the faithful departed that we too have been given through grace our freedom to live, love, serve, and give, yet we too fail. Lastly, in these faithful departed, I would suggest, and in you, that we glimpse an icon of Jesus himself. They were sinners. (laughs) My guess is their family had a lot of stories to tell about each one of them, didn't they? of where they failed and where they succeeded. They weren't perfect human beings. But that's not the point of the faithfully departed. It is yet that through them and their manifestation of Christian life, we saw Jesus from time to time. In them and in their work was good news and wise counsel, humility, faithfulness. We saw love in their smiles and their kindness. We saw them serve the poor. Consider today on this All Saints Day and Day of the Faithfully Departed, the names of the faithful in your lives who shared with you God and Christ Jesus, who loved you, who made room for you at the table, who gave to you a vision of God's kingdom and your place in it. And I'm not just talking about all those good church-going people. You and I both know very faithful people who have shared their wisdom and life with us. We don't know if they went to church or not, but there was a moment where you might have been looking for something, not even knowing what it was. But they offered a bit of kindness, peace, mercy, just like the Beatitudes said. Those are the saints and the faithfully departed that we should remember today. We should make the list. Do it all day long. And say thank you. (laughs) Thank you to God. Because when we needed somebody, one of those faithful people was right there in the middle of our lives to be Jesus for us when we needed it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Thank you for listening. Join me in conversation on Twitter at Texas Bishop and spread the word about this podcast by leaving a review on iTunes. Thank you.